All right, so in this video, we'll be going through Super Mario Brothers 35 on the Nintendo Switch and giving my impressions of the game. All right, so I played uh, roughly, I think an hour of this. The games go fast or slow. I think I've, I've played quite a bit and I feel like that's quite a bit of time. Let me know down in the comments if I should have played it more. I would love to know your guys' feedback on that. Um, at least for this game, I think that's enough to really grasp what the concept is. So it's a lot like Tetris 99 where you're fighting against other people and you're trying to eventually win and you're also trying to sabotage them. And so this has a little bit of a twist where you have to play Mario instead of Tetris, but also there's only 35 instead of 99 or 98 technically. And then you're also, there's a 99. Let me know down in the comments if it's a 99 or a 98 that you're fighting against on Tetris 99, but I think that the best part about this is that you're just playing through Mario levels and so you get very used to it rather than the weird unpredictableness of Tetris. And so you can actually, like you see here, you can do the 35 player battle royale or a special one. Uh, the special just changes depending on uh, what day you play. And so you can do that, you can do course practice you got your stats and you got your options and also to that you got your daily challenges so these are the ones that you can get daily you get some coins uh, I don't think you get too much from the coins besides when you are about to start I've again see how I haven't unlocked too many levels yet but I'm definitely gonna get there you can choose over here in the corner which uh, you press X to change you can start off with an ability or a power-up I usually start off with the uh, fire flower just because that seems to be the best one. If you start off with the mushroom, you get a fire flower anyways. I guess you could save some and do it that way. Save some coins or you can do a star, but I, I like the fire flower, but I'll probably start doing this one since you start on one one, no matter what, I'm not sure what the level select actually does. Um, I don't think it actually does anything. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments you guys know. Pretty much all you get to select from and then you just start on 1-1 one, one always. And so you can also, like I said, do select the special battle that just has different startings and um, enemies on per map basis. And, and you get stuff like starting out with extra coins or an ability or some, some special thing that you start with. And you're just playing the exact same way as you would with uh, the 35 player battle royale. But I think this is a great option for people to play Mario. Um, sadly, it's only going to be available until March 31st of 2021. And it's also only available if you have Nintendo Online, if you if you subscribe to that, as well as a Nintendo account. So I think you have to have that to buy a game online anyways for the Nintendo account. But you do need the online and pay for online to be able to play this. It is free though, if you have all of that. So it's kind of not free, but still it's it's a nice little additive for six months only, but hopefully they maybe like switch it up or add more to it. Maybe they release it later down on the road as like a online and offline game. I'm not sure. I'm gonna doubt the comments if you guys wanna see with that. That'd be really cool just to speculate on that. But they're doing this weird limited release the same way they're doing the 3D All-Star collection where that will only be produced and be able to be downloaded and bought on their store and in stores on actual retail stores until the end of March. Not sure why, but they're wanting to make it limited for that, for just the, the release of just to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Mario. So I guess that's cool. Let's go ahead and play a match and I'll just speed through it. You know, so, so a little bit of the match, I probably won't get very far. I've won once. So let's go ahead and uh, just start off with the mushroom and let's see how long this takes. So let's uh, see how long this matchmaking usually doesn't take too long. So we'll just play through some of this and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yeah, usually you sit here for a little bit longer than the countdown, which is really funny, but so you get to choose who you're attacking, just like on Tetris 99. And you just go through each level. Do this flower right here. As I started up with the mushroom. And you just fight them. And it sends each one of the enemies to someone else. And that's why you see the red lines. That's who I'm attacking. 
or who is attacking me, I think. Yeah, the red is based off of who is attacking me, and then you'll see when I kill one, it'll go towards a box, and that's who I'm attacking. Try not to get hit, and you'll just send all of these guys on over to someone else. And these can go pretty far, pretty long, because people last in Mario for a lot longer than Tetris. So this can take a little bit, but... And with the fire, it's pretty easy. So you can also, during the match, purchase an upgrade. And if you're if you can't use it, it just gives you more time, which is nice. So you can get up there in time. I've gotten up to four or five hundred seconds, so and you just take them out like that, and you make that thing go crazy, and then you get time for finishing, and you go on to the next one, and you just keep going until either you win or someone kills you. Which I have quite a bit. I'm down to 16 already. And you get some coins. And then you can just run on through. Oh, see? I died. Not the greatest at this, but... I thought it was fun. It's a good time. It's more of a time killer for me. I like playing this like if I'm waiting for a friend on Apex or something or on stream. I always have some fun with that. You guys can check that down in the description uh, for my Twitch page. But that's pretty much all it is. And you can go back into rematch or go back to the menu menu. And you unlock different types of uh, icons that you can change your character for and you level up. And it's pretty pretty cool to play around with but i think that's where i will leave this video and, and before we go like this video if you liked it dislike if you don't hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos or don't i've heard people don't like doing the bell icon but if you guys want to know if i go live you have uh or if you guys want to know if we upload a video you guys follow our twitter down in the description or hit the bell icon whichever you prefer and you can also Find other links down there to our merch, our Amazon affiliate links, um, all types of stuff down there. You guys can go just check all that out. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.